Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4, not quite with a team adventure because we're racing around Legoland. Uh, we don't have the option to do proper team adventures here, so we're going to do a series of races, but still following the same rules. You have to use the same car throughout. For this one, we have got A-Class as the uh, class of choice, and it is the great, the age-old battle, Subaru Impreza versus Mitsubishi Evo. I am driving an Evo 8, I'm driving one of my preferred A-Class cars, if I'm honest, V8, all-wheel drive, and rally tyres. We're going to need them, potentially, because it is snowy around here. <laughs> I know it's a V8 a little sacrilegious, but it is a very good engine for this car. It is, generally speaking, a pretty good car, although there are plenty of good cars, there are pretty good options, in fact, uh, for this Oop, for this stuff. Now we come to LEGO Island, it's somewhere a little bit different uh, that we can run the vehicles around some different circuits, etc. Uh, oh, we're going to be in a three wide. Now, I'm not actually oh, quite as great through here as I was maybe hoping. This is a kind of a different sort of a track. I say this is a different sort of a track. This would be the track I would have thought my car would actually work well at. This is quite a fast, quite an open circuit uh, as we get a, a little bit of an assist through there. Uh, yeah, we ended up down in a seventh position here. Uh, things like the Evo 6, generally you can't go wrong with them pretty damn good cars. Uh, 22B also pretty damn good cars. I personally have tended to be an Evo fan over an Impreza fan, although, you know, both of their merits, both have very, very nice vehicles. Uh, can we? And we're looking for a way past now up into a sixth position. We might be able to cut back underneath on the exit here, if at all possible. It's going to be a little close through there. We get to the door, we can probably take it at turn one. Oh, not quite. Uh, a little bit of a squeeze, and we're off into the wall now. Uh, that's not what we needed to do. Now we've got another Evo uh, scoot past on the outside. I think there's quite a few of these Evo 8s around the place. Uh, I think there's a 10 somewhere. I mean, there's, the 6 is the easy go-to build, uh, easy go-to option. We're, we're not doing amazingly, if I'm honest. We've slipped back a little bit here. Now, there may be some time for recovery. <laughs> oh, that's a Subaru. That's gone and visited a tree. That is a Subaru. Unfortunately, going to be out of that one. Yeah, so this is the... I say the reverse. I don't actually know what is the main layout. Of, uh, so the, the, I guess it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, whichever one you drive around more is probably the one you think is the, is the normal version. Uh, it's the reverse one to one I drove a little while ago. Uh, by the looks of it, there are a couple of places where you can end up wandering off into uh, into trouble. I just don't quite have the turning in this car, which does surprise me, perhaps, around here. It's normally... I don't quite have the turning around here, which is fair enough, but then I don't have any straight line speed compared to these other cars as well. It's possible. I just don't know this track's well enough, and driving a little bit uh, poorly. Shall we say there's a massive fight going on. I don't know it's about third and back uh, that fight is occurring. We get a good run on the two cars ahead, in fact, but we're not going to find any way uh, pass particularly. There's a little bit of a bump on the back of the 22B. We do have more straight line speed than the Subaru, and that will put me up a place. We're across the snow. The problem is it's a really tight line. We're going to be slow on the exit, although we're, st we're tight on the exit, but we have better straight line speed. We've got better acceleration. Uh, we will move ourselves back to seventh place. At the moment, the leader is starting to pull clear, but that's more because of the battle, I think, than outright pace, and that is battle is really starting to slow that group of cars down now. Uh, I'm going to run in too deep, as is everybody ahead of us, pretty much. Uh, this is a surprisingly closely bunched group of vehicles. The Evo 10 is at the head of that little train. Me and Danger Man are trying to go join it because, I mean, three wide is not conducive for a quick lap time uh, around this circuit. I don't know if well. I mean, we might catch it before the end of the race just by virtue of this battle is really slowing them down. I don't think it's on my sheer car pace alone. The Evo 10 is out wide into the wall. The leader is, well, further away. I'm not actually sure what car they're driving. Hopefully it's an Evo, you know. We want this to, <laughs> we want this to go the way of the Evos. Uh, this is an absolutely ridiculous group, and we get a good run here because we weren't fighting. It's almost four wide up <laughs> towards the next corner. We're going to shove our car in the middle of uh, this little group here. Oh, there's a little bit of lag uh, as we head across there. It's, well, three and four wide on the exit. The Evo 6 is trying to light up the 10 at the head of this little group. It is very, very much Evo, Evo Central in this. Super on my inside is... Well, unless the leaders are the Subaru, Subaru on the inside is the highest place to the rest of the Subarus anyway. Oh, I think they've got some decent going on. I don't think they had any idea that uh, there was oh, a car on the inside now understeering down towards a troublesome, troublesome corner. And now there's a Subaru to the door. Oh, now we're going to let the... It's everybody's here. Just the entire pack is in one big group fighting over that, uh, well, second place and back. 
I'm going to lose out to the Red Bull car here. Oh, God damn it. Uh, and now we've got another Evo coming to join in the party. We might still have a chance. Oh, not quite. Shouldn't have really gone for that one. Uh, there's a little bit of a risky. The problem is now we've taken that move. We've had a go for that pass, and then we lose out because we get a poor exit. And another Evo 6 has gone flying past us, although they've made a hash of turn one, I guess. Uh, we had a good run up the hill. Oh, there's been problems up ahead. Big, big problems with the Impreza. Uh, we might be able to get both of them towards this next corner. It's a big dive to the inside for us. It's three wide up ahead with one of them off over into the grass. We're up to sixth. It's better than what I was expecting at the start of this particular lap here. They're two and three wide still battling. Could we cheese that one? Cheesing our way into a podium would be one hell of a cheese at the end of this race. If we could make it. This has been an absolutely ridiculous battle. With <laughs> mostly with Evos fighting Evos. The tens come a little bit undone at the end of this. Up ahead, I think it's another one of the eights. Is a little bit squiffy. Uh, we are doing everything we can here to try and make up some positions. Anything on this final lap. Uh, it's a massive dive for Cody. I don't think you can get that thing stopped in time. You're not quite going to make that work. The 10's going to get back past. We're coming to join in uh, this fight. We're from a long, long, long way back. And here comes the Subarus as well now. It's all going to be. Danger Man's out really wide. It's a drag race towards the line. <laughs> I don't even know what way it's going to go. We can't beat the 10. The 10 gets us. We will cross the line in fourth because the start-finish line thing was completely balked. I shouldn't have been there. I should have been sixth. Um... Things are weird. The Subaru won, followed by a whole herd of Evos. That was a ridiculous race. <laughs> that was a completely and utterly ridiculous race. We will take... It was a sixth place, really, for us. Let's be honest here. Um, but there we go. Subaru won, and actually by a healthy margin. What a manic battle. So, for our next race, we are heading off-road. The area of 5 I don't know, it's an off-road circuit. It weaves its way a little bit through the desert. Uh, well, deserty, sandy area. I don't know the track particularly well, but that is half the fun coming out here. A lot of us probably won't know these circuits particularly well. I have a lot of work to do. We're buried in the pack. Uh, we know... Well, we know the Subaru starting in second was quick at that first circuit, although you might specialise your car in A-class. You might try and go without rally tyres. Now, this circuit is going to suck. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but you'll be very quick. Or you could be very quick on the tarmac. Uh, it's, it's, all, it's all the fun and games of trying to decide how to build the cars. Slightly more effective when it's a team adventure and, and so on. Uh, but we're sticking by the same rules. You have to drive the same car uh, throughout this. So, on to the sand we go. Now, this I'm hoping is going to be a place where my vehicle is pretty good. Um, as a, this is a bit of an overall car. It, it kind of works with just about everything that you could ask it to be doing. Uh, so relatively quick kind of sandy circuit fingers crossed uh, will be good for us it's quite a wide track around here that can say can help it's quite nice you get a little bit of, you get a little bit much very much a few more places you can find an overtake still quite quick though unlike somewhere let's say like the amble side scramble uh, where you got a lot of slow speed stuff here you've got these much longer corners uh, for the vehicles that checkpoint someone's going to miss that one i can almost 100 percent guarantee you someone is missing that checkpoint throughout the course of this race because oh i'm out of gears uh because that is a nasty there's a nasty one to uh, to be doing there's a swap for the lead i don't know how much speed i can take through there really uh now if they want to continue their massive squabbles uh going on up here i'm okay with that i will join we're going to bring lad flag fed uh, with us and anybody else, we might just create a big train of cars. Uh, I'm pleased to say the balance has been pretty good in uh, in all of this, in that we've had these big old groups. The Evos have been maybe a smidge preferable uh, so far, even the Subarus can still be very, very quick. Uh, we're quite good in that mid-sector, it would seem. We've got some pace in the Evo 8. I definitely think we're a better off-road car than we are tarmac. Not that we're a bad tarmac car at all, but I definitely think we're a bit better on the on the off-road stuff oh i got away brushing the first one it was a secondary wall that was the problem the subaru fires up the inside to take second place away now i'm slightly gutted i ended up uh, messing that up we carried a huge amount of speed through turn one subaru's all crossed up through here this is the section where i have been quick so far we get almost alongside but it's not quite going to be enough it is pretty much four for the lead now as we head through these next couple of corners uh, can we have a look somewhere at the inside? Yes, we can. I'll take the Subaru. We're going to go for 
an all Evo podium at this rate if we can make that happen. I'd quite like to get higher up. That Supra's got a serious turn of pace. Could have the flat four turbo rally engine in it. Uh, that is a pretty good pretty good choice of engine for the Subaru. You're going to go the long way around. You're going to run out of space on the outside. Doesn't quite make that one stick. Leaders are now fighting one another. I mean, we fought with the Subaru, and we might have fought with the Subaru long enough that uh, we have now dropped too far back from those front. I like that turn one. That is a brilliant, brilliant turn one. You kind of make sure you've got your car turned but just before you leave the tarmac. It's flat. Certainly in my car, it's flat out through there. You've just got to make sure you have it positioned perfectly as you leave the tarmac and transition to the dirt and sand. Get it wrong there and you're just going to understeer straight off. Uh, yeah, this is the section where we are good. Uh, we're making good ground. I, just can't, I haven't quite got the turn in I need with with this vehicle. Uh, we're, we're there or thereabouts in places and then we just lose it in a couple of others uh, around here. We might be able... Uh, don't brush the wall this time around. Maybe we can do something on this final lap, but I don't think so. We have got that. We now have got Evos 1, 2, 3, and 4 in this. The poor uh, Impreza that was running with us. I don't quite know what happened uh, with that one. Uh, has fallen a fair way back. Uh, lap down car will stay out of the way. I pushed my luck big time through turn 1 there. Christ. Uh, we were all the way out towards the wall. Now, we may have company before the end of this race going on here. Uh, we've got to try and defend from Danger Man, possibly, if that's going to have a look anywhere uh, around the lap. The final corner is where I'm most concerned. Here, as I said, I'm generally being fairly okay. As I say that, though, we slide out wide and end up losing the podium spot. That's obviously there's a different line through there that I haven't been paying attention to previously that would have been preferable. Oh, no, unless there's a mistake. I don't think we're going to, to do very much through here. Uh, which there is a little bump on the wall. Oh, there's a mistake for both of us, though. Danger Man hits the wall and pings me backwards. Well, I mean, I don't think I was going to hit the wall. The problem was we were so close to the back of the car ahead that it didn't matter where we were positioned. Uh, we were always going to be in, in trouble uh, with the with that run. Oh, that messed it up a little bit. I mean, the lap times are so close up there. Lap times are super, super close. Up between a whole bunch of us. Looking down to their seventh place, uh, they're all very, very, very close indeed. Another good race. Another, another good race indeed. It's two fourths in a row. Could be worse. In fact, there's a lot of Evo 8s doing pretty well, judging by three of <laughs> the top four of them. So, race number three, and we head to what is a fairly sensible circuit, the Falcon Arrow Raceway. I don't even remember what the name of the damn thing is. Uh, yeah, Arrowhead, there we go, close enough. Uh, well, we have a couple of long straights, actually. We kind of run around the oval, the banked corner at turn one, and then we have a kind of a long straight until we go off towards a more twisty, twiddly section. I start from third on the grid. Uh, we'll be interesting to see, really. I don't quite know what we're going to get from our car. As I said, I expected it to be pretty good. There are a lot of very good cars uh, in this one, it has to be said. Now, we ran this circle a little while ago with a Rossi on a Q1, uh, hitting the inside of that banking caused no end of problems, like really, really big problems for the cars. So, we're going to have to be a little bit careful with the Rossi on a cause problems. This is probably going to be a lot more stable, of course, it's not as powerful. It does have rear aero, of course, the Q1 did not. Uh, so we're going to hope that, that is, uh, we're not going to have too many issues with this. We're going to try and get a good run on the exit here if we can, which we do. Yeah, we're just going to swap sides at this point. Not really made our way past. We're just going to go now to the outside uh, once more. Into now the, the banked corner here, we can get away with running on the outside. Had, I like the higher line through there, weirdly. It's not, not normally how I like to drive banked stuff. Um, Subaru almost missed the checkpoint through there as we head on to the main start finish straight we are out wide again and we're going to lose and fall all the way back into a fourth position on to lap number two we go we don't match we don't match any of these cars here for straight the problem is i don't match them straight line speed i'm not all that much better in the corners i don't know what i've done wrong but i don't know what i've done wrong like this is normally a pretty good car uh, when it comes to the old circuit racing but it's not quite not quite not, so not quite as quick as the other evo 8s the other, obviously the 8 is a popular choice. The 8 is apparently a very popular choice. Uh, we have got to try and get this twisty section uh, much better if we're going to make something work here. 
don't know whether we can. There's a little bit of running out wide. We're going to have an Evo 10 for company now. I believe that's running not rally tyres. I don't know what tyres it's on. Sports, possibly. Um, now, that is likely to have a fair chunk of power. If you're going to go for a circuit for a tarmac-built car... Oh, the Subaru missed a checkpoint. Oh, dear. That is not what you want. We have closed in. So, maybe we are a little bit better in the corners. Maybe we're just a little bit better in the corners. But we lose too much down here. I think I just took out the uh, track marker. <laughs> Car was tall enough to take out the track marker. If the leaders want to fight, that would help me out here. Oh, get off the snow, you moron. That is not what you want. You did, well, I mean, to be fair, you don't really want snow on an oval, do you? Uh, there was a... There was a it was a while, an old, old race. There was snow. Was it snow or hail? Sort of red flagged a, a NASCAR, an oval race. I seem to remember that being a thing. I can't remember what track it was at. It was a short course. Anyway, yeah, snow. Rain is bad on these, let alone snow. Uh, let's not go run wide, basically. Uh, we might get an old Evo podium at the rate we're going. Although there was a little bit of bumping between <laughs> between the top two. Certainly looks like an Evo 1, 2, 3, and 4. I mean, not just sheer on pace. The Subaru definitely should have been up here. It was a very quick car. Uh, however... I missed checkpoint. It's a very easy mistake to end up making around this track. We've seen it a few times. We'll just, you know, we'll just take a no. Don't run down that low. Don't run that low on the on the circuit. We will get in trouble. We will spin the car. Apparently, I just didn't think. I guess maybe anything can spin on that. It's just the, the steepness of the banking, the almost elevation change. I made a mess coming off the back straight as well. Come on, I don't want another fourth place. We've had two fourths in a row. I we'll want a podium at least in this one. Uh, we're going to hug the middle through there. Is the 10 going to be able to attack us? Is the 10 going to be able to have a dive anywhere around here? So far it's a little... I mean, it's best opportunity came when I was mispositioned uh, coming off the banking. When I was twitching and sliding around. And it's probably the best opportunity for the 10. If I do it again, which I'm going to bloody well hope not. Uh, <laughs> We are through the final quarter. One more time around. Let's just take each other out. We're too far back. Um, we're not, you know, miles, miles slower, but and they're having a good old battle up there. We're not crazy, crazy slower, but we also just aren't quite as quick as them two vehicles. We drifted up too high on the exit. Is the 10 going to have a big dive down the inside here? Uh, I kind of moved across to cover it. They're still fighting side by side for the lead. Uh, the 10 didn't, didn't think about it. It was kind of happy to sit and prepare and set up for a move somewhere else. In fact, the move might come here uh, if we are not careful. Uh, in fact, the move is going to come there. We're going to go for the accelerate on the exit to retake the position away. I want this third place now. Uh, <laughs> we'll take that wide approach. The leaders are still battling. It looks like Cody is going to get to the lead of this one here. Uh, we're going to sit on the banking a little bit, just get the car turned through there. One more section to go. Get a good run out of this corner. We should be good. Oh, the 10's going to get a better run. The 10's going to give us a bit of a squeeze towards the outside. Uh, there is... Oh! I don't know if there was a missed checkpoint. I'm not 100% sure what went on at the end of that. Um, I don't know whether Danger Man was in the wrong gear, trying to get going, having pinged off the wall. But whatever happened, it was enough to block the 10 in. And, well, it's safe to say the Evos rather dominated this one. With the exception of... The very unfortunate uh, Dines down in ninth place that should probably have won this race uh, with that Subaru. The Evos were a bit good. The Evos were a bit good, having, well, got the top six were all Evos. I cheesed a second place. It wasn't really a fully deserving second place after something went on up ahead. However, I'll take a cheesed second place if it's going to be given to me. So, for our final race and... It has been relatively going the way of the Evo so far, but maybe we will see something a little bit different as we head ooh, to the Ocean View Scramble. And I have a nice spot on the grid. There are three Evos in the top three. Three very quick Evos in the top three. Uh, <laughs> Gotta find out the fastest. The Subaru is all the way at the back as well. This, uh, I like this track actually. I remember driving this one a few times. Again, it's not a crazy technical circuit, not a crazy technical off-road track. You do need a little bit of straight line speed around here, although it does look like a lot of the cars, certainly a lot of the Evos have got that. Uh, a lot of the Evos have got a fair chunk of straight line speed going on. 
uh, around here in some of the Subarus as well. Uh, the 22B tends to be a little bit down on power uh, in this, just compared to the way the PI works. Probably because the car's quite light. Um, but yeah, it tends to be a little bit down in, in terms of the odd power that uh, might mean around these sort of circuits it, it does struggle. It can be a very quick car, but it might struggle a smidge more around, let's say, this style of circuit. Oh, that's a really big hill. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, I guess I'm used to the other direction around this circuit almost. Uh, the kind of jump down this hill rather than climb up a bit, but never mind. I quite I quite like having the massive hill climb in the middle of the middle of the race. Uh, are we going to be able to do? I say we're going to be able to do much. So I think my eight is slightly better in the corners than some of the other cars around here. There is an element of inexperience. I mean, from everybody, to be perfectly fair, there is an element of this as uh, oh. It's been ages since I've driven these tracks, and we have had a big off. That's not what we needed. We're the wrong side of the barrier and everything. Oh, it is going to be a recovery drive time for us now. Oh, we just pinged off of the... Pinged off of the little barrier bit, and that's enough to... It was just enough to upset the car. Couldn't get it back under control again, and we launched it across the track. We're not going to be winning this one. I was hoping to go one better than the cheesed second place. The cheesed victory is always good, but... No, we're not going to be able to win this, not this one, from here. However, maybe we can get a little bit further up the oh, up the leaderboard. Let's not run in too deep through the hairpin. The six bounced off the wall. Uh, the very quick Subaru is already up into fourth place. Uh, not bad, considering uh, where it started down at uh, down in 12th. There is a big gap behind me, which suggests a bunch of cars. Uh, either that's the group of cars not on rally tyres. Possible. Or that's a group of cars that missed checkpoints. Uh, this probably not the maybe not the worst circuit in the world for, for lacking rally tyres. Also, you know, still important. You've got quite a lot of these uh, relatively fast corners actually in places. Oh, there's going to be some missed checkpoints there. I don't think either of them got the checkpoint right. That's uh, a very like, a good example, but that is some inexperience going on around this circuit. Just cars fighting for position and not quite knowing where the checkpoint is at that section. It gives me a couple of places at the end of the day. I'm not going to complain at a couple of positions gained, uh, especially when this isn't a team adventure. We're not all that fussed about uh, our team doing well, just uh, as long as we can get a decent finish ourselves. And there's a Subaru pointing the wrong direction. That's an unlucky... The Subarus do not get a uh, huge amount of luck so far in this one. Uh, the one's up to third. <sighs> I'm still slightly annoyed. I'm slightly annoyed myself. We could probably have got an Evo, an eight, an Evo eight, one, two, three. <laughs> this is definitely the vehicle to have in this, in this group. It would say it's just a coincidence we ended up building these. Uh, I've had mine for a while. Uh, we got a good run on the six up the inside here. Although we've already seen what happens if you get this, this wrong, uh, you miss the checkpoint. So we're going to have a little bit of caution, and a little bit of care, in trying to move up to fifth place. Uh, fourth is a 22B. I should, I think that's what that looks like a 22B. Uh, we're not going to be able to have a dive into turn one here. Oh, the barriers here are a bit. I say a bit odd. They're a bit different uh, with the way you kind of like bump up them. They're not a solid wall like you get in the mainland. There's like a lip that lifts the car up first, which is a bit scary. I do like this track though. It's really fun. Really, it's a fast flowing circuit. This. Uh, oh, someone missed a checkpoint up ahead. Oh, the. Oh. All that hard work from the back of the grid and trying to <laughs> climb their way up the position. I think I'm very, very quick in terms of uh, getting up the hill. I guess I have more power than the Evo 6, which is helping. Uh, could we really... Surely we couldn't get a podium. Not from the, not from the terrible start we had. We spun the car on the first lap. Could we recover to a podium? It's been helped. It has been... A little bit gifted in places. Oh, that is a beautiful line through there. That's a It's a brave line, though, because you run a huge risk of upsetting the car and spinning. But if you get it right, you make some lap speed. Right, turn one. Here we go. Let's try and not balls this one up. We run towards the wall. We don't hit the wall, though. Don't hit any street furniture. Well, I say street furniture. Lego furniture, I guess. Uh, it's going to be... I think it's going to be the hill. I think that's where we make our, our lap time over some of these cars. Uh, certainly the cars that we've been racing here. That was all sorts of wonky... Come on. We might be too far back. If we don't get this hairpin right, we might be in all sorts of trouble. Now we just have the run up the hill to try and... catch the 22B. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Evo. You can do this. Oh, 
Oh, it's so good. If I hadn't made that little mistake, we might have been there at the door. There's still another hill to go. There's still a chance at a podium. The 22B covers, and I can't get my car turned. Are we going to chuck it? Do we go just full all or nothing? I think we kind of have to at this point. Just throw the car through this corner, hope for the best. The 22B does a very similar job though. We're very, very evenly matched, the pair of us. Uh, around this final corner, we're close. We needed another lap. It's not going to be enough. It's a fourth place for us. Fourth, fourth, second, fourth will be the way of my Evo. They were damn well. I mean, it was, it was quick around there. Not quick, not as quick as the leaders. Not as quick as the leaders. Admittedly, I can maybe go a little faster. You know, there's a little bit more speed. Maybe a 103.9, something like that. 103.9, 103.8 might just about be possible. I forgot a clean lap, wasn't battling traffic and so on. I didn't make any mistakes, but 103.0 is way too quick for me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the Evos are going to be the victor in this one. I'm mostly the Evo 8s, to be like, unfortunate that it happened to be we all picked the same bloody one. Uh, the Evos are going to be victorious. The Super is going to put up a fight at the right circuits. You know, they, they put up a challenge. However, the Evos did dominate just that little bit. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you'd like to take part in the next one of these, you can via our forums. There's a link in the description. Find the Ferrari versus the community section, and you can sign up in there. That is going to be it from me. Until next time, a goodbye.